Welcome to this Invoice Ninja tutorial for beginners. In this video, I will show you how you can use Invoice Ninja for your business. And I will also show you how you can log in and create invoices, create clients and a lot more. Now, the first thing you need to do is to go to invoiceninja.com and then you can click on sign up. If you would like to download Invoice Ninja and use it locally on your PC on, or on your device, you can go to invoiceninja.org and here you can basically host Invoice Ninja yourself on your local machine. In this case, I will show you the online version, so I will go to invoiceninja.com and click on sign up. Here you will need to enter in an email address and after you've done that, you will need to also enter in a password. After you've also confirmed your password, you can click on register. Then you can see it takes a few seconds and you will see you will be in your dashboard and here you can enter in your company name. So I'll type in my company name, you can enter in a subdomain, you can enter in a language and you can also select a currency. If you then click on save, you can see you are in your dashboard and you can now access all of the things. So I'll first want to start out with this dashboard. Here you can see there is an overview and there is also like a quick overview of all of these stats. Like you can see the amount of invoices in dollars, payments, expenses, outstanding and also your uh, total amount of invoices. And if you scroll down, you can also see some more stats. So you can basically, so you have this section like your analytics. If you click on this plus icon, you can also create new uh, new dashboard views. So you can, for example, take a look at something else here. On the left sidebar, you can see there are a lot of options. Before we dive in into those, I'll first want to show you the settings because these are pretty important. So here you can change your company name. Here you can change your ID number, your VAT number. You can enter in a website, email, company phone. And here you can also enter in the address. You can also upload a company logo if you would like to have a logo here. However, that, since this is not publicly visible, you don't necessarily need one. One thing I also want to show you is the account management. You can click on account management here or you can click in the uh, top left corner on this account right here and here on account management. If you click on account management, you can see you will be also redirected here. So for example, if we are here and we click on account management, you will be redirected into your settings here as well. Here, if you click on enabled modices, you can see here all of these things are enabled. The only thing disabled are transactions. So these are the things you can see on the left sidebar. So for example, if you um, want to manage your clients and products and invoices, but don't want to manage recurring invoices, you can disable this here. You can click on save and then the recurring invoices will be removed. So I will enable this option again, click on save, and now you can see we have recurring invoices in the left sidebar again. So I'll want to quickly show you or guide you through all of these options. So if you click on clients, you can basically see this is like a database. So you can click on new client and you can enter in all of these details like new client one, and you can enter in all of the company details of your client, the address, the contact information and also additional information and so settings like currency you can add notes you can choose a company size and the industry you have some client fields here but you can see this um, is only a paid feature and some contact fields which is also only included in the paid plan so after you've created a new client you can see i've successfully created a new client and i'm currently viewing this client right here so i have not added, added any address i haven't added any contacts and there's also no pending payments so you can see there are no invoices for this client right here but i'll show you um, the invoices section in just a second so if you go back to clients you can see we have this client right here if you would click create a new client, a new row would be inserted here and you can basically just see all of your clients in these rows. One thing you can also do is to import clients. So if you click on import, you can also basically import a CSV file. And then if that CSV file is correct, you'll be also able to see this as a row. Now I want to show you the products. So here you can create a new product. And so for example, this could be item hashed one. You can add a description. You can add a price, so for example, 1999, default quantity, max quantity, image URL, and tax category. 
you can then click on save after you've entered in all of those details. If you go back to products, you can see we have one product right here. You can also import products as you can see or create more or multiple products here. If you then go to invoices, here is the section where we can create invoices and send them out to clients. So if you click on create new invoice, we can either create a new client here or we can select an existing client, for example, the client that we have created before. We can select the invoice date, the due date, the partial um, deposit. So for example, if the client has paid something up front and the invoice number. Here you can enter in the number of this order. So this could also be 101, for example, and you can also enter in a discount. So below that, we can choose an item. Here is the item that we have created right here in our product section. And here is the unit cost quantity. So for example, we set the quantity to five. You'll be able to see, oops, sorry, I added a new item. You'll be able to see that if we scroll down, you can see this invoice right here with a quantity of five. So you can see this is basically how our um, finished invoice or our final invoice will look like. So if you would have uploaded a logo in your settings, you would be also able to see this logo here. So if you scroll up, you can now see, you can also enter in a description to this product, change the product and also add new items. And here you can also add public notes or add some terms, change the footer, add some documents. And here you have also some settings that you can basically adjust. And one cool thing is also the design. So if you, for example, click on elegant, you'll be able to see that this invoice will be styled in an elegant manner. You can also click on calm and this will also look different. So this is really nice because you can basically change all of these um, designs here. After you've done that, you can see this is how the final invoice will look like. So if I now click on save, you'll be able to see that if you go back to our invoices, we have this invoice draft right here. The status is draft because if we click on it, you can see the invoice has not been sent out. So if you click on this um, invoice right here, you can click on more actions and you can email this invoice to your client. You can also download this invoice or you can also print it right here. So now you can see we have this invoice right here. The same works with recurring invoices as well as with payments. And you can basically see if you click in, into all of these sections that this basically looks pretty much different or actually the same, sorry. And here we can create a new expense, new recurring expense, new vendor, new task, and it all pretty much looks the same. The only thing is that when you go to tasks, you can also have a Kanban view. So if you click on here, um, enter in a, or take a client, then you can also assign this to a project. You can give it a task number like 12, for example, and you can click on save. You'll be able to have this task right here and you'll be able to basically move this task to um, all of these columns. So this is basically like a small or mini project management tool within um, Invoice Ninja. One thing is also transactions. So here you can also create new transactions and that way you can basically um, manage all of your invoices. But that's pretty much how you can use Invoice Ninja for your invoices for your business. If this video was helpful, make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.